start the old uh, four coordinators, four years, uh, Trescu just called you very flexible. Do you have to be to uh, take it, or is it not, is it more than what, you know, we, is it less than what we make it? I don't know. I, I mean, to me, it's less of what you probably make of it. Um, I'm very confident in what we do, and, um, you know, the, the goal is when you're a coordinator, I mean, especially for the guys that we've had, uh, is to be head coaches again. So you have to, as a quarterback, be ready for anything, and I think um, that's the mindset I take. And learning a new offense, I always say it's really not that big of a deal. Um, to couple, I mean, especially this year, it's a little bit of new terminology, but it's more just a couple new concepts and things like that. Um, the rookies are coming in here. I think it's probably tougher for them to learn learn this offense than it is for a guy that's been in the league eight years to learn something new um, with little tweaks here and there. So I think we're doing a great job. I think every, I think all of our young guys, it's impressive how well they've done it, picking it up and getting in their books. So I'm excited about it, and I'm not even thinking about the fact that we have a new coordinator. Joe, can you talk about the wide receiver? They're doing a great job. Uh, you can tell some of the young guys were probably a little worn out. I mean, we've had them here at like five o'clock in the morning, and you know they're running, they're coming out and practicing. So you could tell that you know mentally and physically they're probably worn out a little bit. Uh, Jeremy Butler did. I mean, he might have had like 1,500 yards in a three-day mini camp. I mean, he was incredible. He he had you know caught the ball extremely well. Uh, little things here and there to work on, but. Uh, the biggest thing is catching the ball, and I, and I think those guys are doing a really good job of that. Is Jerry a guy, I know Coach has kind of mentioned him, somebody to look out for this offseason when he came back from the injury. Does he surprise you? I mean, he's catching everything. Not really, because he, he, he showed up last year during training camp and had a really good camp. He's just a like st big, strong body. He catches the ball really well. That's exactly what he showed last year in training camp, I thought. And he's kind of just coming out here and doing more of that. Joe, what's the biggest difference between um, Gary Kubiak's offense and Mark Tresco? Well, hey, uh, terminology-wise, it's it's pretty darn similar. Uh, we've tried to keep a lot of the formations the same, so it's not that tough on a lot of the guys that have been here for you know for the last year. Um, there's new concepts, and obviously he's a new guy. Marty's a new guy, so the way they that they teach some of those things are different. Um, but you know, a lot of it is similar, and I think we're trying to do some new things uh, so that when teams come after us, we, you know, we can hurt them a little bit more and take some hits off here and there. So. Um, there's, you know, there's some a couple more checks and stuff like that just to get us into the right things. But for the most part, uh, we're running p pretty similar things. It's just a matter of, you know, what they're saying um, versus, you know, how the guys last year might have been saying it. Jim, last year you uh, made the playoffs. You had your best year st st uh, statistically. Uh, what more? What do you need to work on, if anything, uh, as you go forward? Well, I listen. You always need to work on, you know, a, a lot of things. I mean. Uh, the biggest thing, I mean, I'm going to year eight, is just keeping my body physically healthy and, and going out there and, and allowing myself to give the best chance to be there for my team each, you know, each week. Um, but hey, working with Mark is going to be a new thing. So just keeping that communication as good as, as it has been right now. And then just working on my feet constantly, trying to make sure I keep them as quick and constantly thinking about it and how it's going to match up to our passing game. You know, when I'm in the shotgun, um, a lot of that changes. So once again, thinking about how that's going to match up to getting the ball out on time. And, um, you know, you're always learning new ways to, um, you know, protect things up, um, you know, when, when to throw hot. Um, so a, a lot of conceptual things and, you know, what's the best thing to do. So I think the communication between me and Mark is going to uh, help out a lot on that. But, you know, physically, I would say just making sure I'm ready to go and can stay healthy for an, another season. And, um, you know, always tying my feet into getting the ball out on time and, and being in good rhythm, good balance and all that stuff. So some prepared. receivers are known as chain movers. Some are known as deep guys. And you, know, you can easily identify at least one on this roster who yeah. fit those descriptions. Is such specialization important or ver versatility prized along with the number of targets you got? Hey, I think you need to play the best guys no matter uh, what. So I think we got a very good group of guys. And wh whoever that ends up being, um, I don't think you can worry about, oh, we got like one really fast guy, we got one really quick guy, we got one big guy. I think you just got to play the best guys, the guys that catch the ball, the guys that get open. Um, I think it obviously helps to have somebody that can run and uh, somebody that can you know, be big. And you know, if you can do all of them, that's great. Um, I think we got a good, versatile group of guys. But I would say the core of them is that they're all pretty strong, uh, pretty good hands. And that's going to go a long way. Because if you can 
go out there and you can run strong routes and get guys off of you and then come back to the ball and catch it strongly. Um, no matter how big you are, I think all of our guys do that well. I think that's going to bode well for us. How do you prepare these next six weeks, or are you a guy who tries to get away from the game knowing what lies ahead? Well, listen, I mean, I, I've been in the league long enough to know how to prepare. you got to go back and you got to stay in shape, be ready to come back and grind it out in training camp for a couple weeks and um, stay mentally sharp just because you don't want to lose the things that we've been doing the last two months here. Um, and at the same time, you got to got to relax a little bit and let your let your mind breathe before you get ready for you know the upcoming run that we hope to be going on. Joe, how has uh, John Herschel been to work with when he's taken snaps at center? John's been great. Um, I didn't really, you know, he's probably a guy last year that I was just, uh, please don't be in when he's in because I didn't want to have to take a snap from him and like fumble it or something. But he's done a great job this year. I, I think he's doing a great job getting up there, making calls as quickly as he can and getting the ball back to me really well. Um, I, I, I didn't really think that we skipped the skipped beat with him in there uh, this off season. Uh, obviously, it'll be nice to get Jeremy back. You talked about working with Matt Schaub, Joe, and it's easier to have a guy like that when you teach a new offense again, especially young players. Well, hey, I mean, me, yeah, me and I, I, I think I've always had a good relationship with the backs, backups on this team, and um, it's it's always good to have those guys to bounce things off of and uh, have a different opinion on things and um, just get conversations started. I think Matt's been great for that. I think he's been doing a great job out here with the young guys and getting them ready and keeping them up to speed and kind of helping the whole team out in that way. So what do you get a sense of how good this team can be, and have you gotten that kind of sense at all this year? Yeah, you can you can get it. You can get a feel for it, especially when we ha especially this week when we have everybody here. You have the offensive line all together. Um, I tell you what, our young guys are just they excite you because the, uh, they seem like they work really hard and they've come out here and they've been prepared every single day. Um, you know, not everything's been perfect, but they've been prepared. Uh, I think we had a lot to build on from last year, and I think they're just making us better. So I'm really excited about it. Matt Schaub has said that he was trying to find a balance with Tilton, like not being too overbearing about the little nuances of the system. You think you guys have found that working balance so far for you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, this is this is Mark's offense, and um, you know Matt's been in it with Gary, and I've been in it with Gary, so we know, you know, certain things uh, that that are carried over. Um, we know how Gary taught it, but at the same time, you know, Mark's the offensive coordinator, and I want him to be um, his own man, and I want him to lead lead the way that you know he knows, and that's how we're going to be best. Uh, we're not going to be our best if you know he's trying to do it somebody else's way. He's going to do it his way, and uh, I'm just trying to take that lead and, 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 and learn it the best I can. What are your thoughts about uh, the staying out west for those two trips? Uh, for, uh, I'm sure you probably heard about it, but uh, you won't be coming back after playing. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I feel good about it. I mean, we're, uh, us as players, we're part of that communication. Uh, John asks us and looks for input, and you know, I'm one of the guys that's directly involved in making that decision, so I'm happy about it. I think it's going to be a good thing for us. I hope it is. Um, We're have well, Stan, she might feel a little differently. <laughs> but um, one of those games is in, in Arizona, and Dennis's family's out there, so I might fly her out there for one game. Who knows, you know? But yeah, she might feel a little bit different than I do. I'm thinking that's going to be a week off from being that, you know? So uh, yeah, um, yeah, she probably is, you know, going to be in for it a little bit, just like this week, you know. And I've been here a little while, and training camp coming up, but that's just part of being. An NFL quarterback's wife, man. That's why you got to get a strong one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have some tape music or tape of little kids running around. Yeah, yeah. All right, good? All right, guys. Thanks, yep. Bobby.